This is IFV, the web space with your dose of business and financial news. In full view, we're making your business our business. Welcome back to In Full View. I'm Marcella Palmer. This week, as we enter a brand new year, IFV continues its look back at 2009's innovators, change makers, pace setters of industry. They're part of this week's part two of IFV's In Focus. Green for All is an organization that's really committed to being able to move people who've been left out of the economy into the economy. We think that the economy is going through a revolution in the same way that technology modernized a manufacturing-based economy. The green economy is doing that. And we want to figure out how this time we move people out of poverty, out of communities of color that are struggling into the economy. And tell us a little bit about those people. How do they find you or do you find them? How does it work? You know, it, we are really lucky that right now we have a lot of people who are reaching out to us. And I think I've talked to our team and said we are in the place that every movement aspires to be. And because there's a crisis, we have people reaching out to us. And I think our job is really to leverage this moment and improve those people's lives. And how are you by, by green initiatives and taking care of the environment, how are you improving the lives of those who uh, are economically deprived? Well, I'm here with a colleague, Stacy, who's been working in local communities, and we've been working in Newark and Seattle to really be able to pull together folks from very different constituencies to focus on one goal, moving people out of poverty and making the planet healthier and more sustainable. You know, what we want to figure out is there are blue collar jobs and we want there to be green collar jobs, jobs that both improve the environment, but also provide a career ladder so that people have long term sustainable employment. with the economy as it is. Has it just reset the board? Is it a brand new game for entrepreneurs? Do you need a new skill set? What's different nowadays? Uh, as the economy changes, I don't think there's a change for entrepreneurs. I actually think entrepreneurs are in a great seat because it's it's small business that's grown this country, right? Whether it be just pure entrepreneurs, family businesses. So it's that kind of element, that kind of dynamic that grows businesses. And that's what we need. So that skill set is needed more than ever. And that's what I think we re will really re help rebound this economy economy that we're in as well. Gymboree. Um, I started in the very early stages of Gymboree uh, with the retail expansion. Began by designing the clothing, setting up manufacturing, etc. I started as senior vice president of merchandising and that uh, three years later, we took it public and I became president and CEO. Um, and that was obviously a wonderful experience. Jimboree was a wonderful experience. It was a great brand, a wonderful team to work with, and uh, a, a personally a wonderful experience. Um, I made the decision to uh, take some time off uh, when my son turned 13. And so I stayed involved in business, stayed on the board of a few companies, but wanted to stay home and not travel as much. So I did that during his high school years and then uh, was involved with uh, uh, on the board of Party City and uh, then came on as acting CEO and helped to take that out of bankruptcy. And uh, now I'm with Golden Seeds and we invest in women entrepreneurs. So it's wonderful to be able to uh, support entrepreneurs. We're, uh, there are about 115 of us. We're all independent investors. We're in, uh, we have a forum in Boston, one in New York, one in Philadelphia, and we just opened in San Francisco. I think every entrepreneur goes through a David and Goliath feeling. That's the, almost definitionally, an entrepreneur means you're just starting. If you're just starting, you're very, very small. So your competition or the, the industry you're entering into is going to be full of companies who are much larger than you. So the first thing I would say is don't think of yourself as in any way unique. Uh, that problem is the nature of the beast. And I think that I really have come to believe that, one, you know, hire, bring people together as partners that, that uh, you know, are very talented, that you trust, build a great team. 
and then hard work eventually pays off. Thank you for joining us for part two of this special edition of ifbnews.com. The IFB News team will be back Saturday with an exciting and informative broadcast from H&R Block in New York City's Times Square. We'll see you soon.